you've seen in earlier exercises how to copy and paste one object onto another layer, but there's a couple of special paste techniques in Photoshop that you may not know about, and they're really handy, especially if you need to paste an object or some other image that makes it look like it's sitting inside of another image. For instance, like with this computer monitor, you might want to make it seem like an image is on the screen. Or if you had a billboard image, you might want to make sure it looks like the image is actually on the billboard rather than just sort of sitting strangely on top of it as like a weird shape. So to illustrate, the first thing we need to do is make a selection. So we'll use our quick selection tool to select the inside of the monitor. Now the monitor has like a little bit of an edge down here. And if I was doing this for a professional project, I would probably go back in there and refine that. You could use your rectangular marquee and try to remove that little bit with a straight line like so. And then once you have your selection ready to go, you need to paste something into it. We'll go to this next file over here and we'll grab the image and I'm just going to, we'll do select all and copy. Now we don't need that image anymore. And now rather than doing a regular paste, we're going to use an option from the paste special menu. There's paste in place, which would be essentially cutting something from one layer and pasting it onto another, but in the same position. There's pasting into, which is pasting it into a selected area and that applies a mask. And there's paste outside the selection. Now we want to do paste into. And as you can see in the layers panel, our image is dropped in to fit inside the selection and the selection has been masked. The white area reveals our image and the black area hides everything else on that layer so that we can see through to the background. To make it even more realistic, we can apply a bevel and emboss to this layer. Click on the FX button, choose bevel and emboss, and then how much emboss you choose is totally up to you. You could do one to two in the size, probably do not do that much. You know, you go up and down to see how much you want to add. Probably anything more than two or three would be a little bit too much. It really depends on the light source in your image, how far you would want to go. You could also adjust the shadow and highlight or any of the other shading information in here. And when you have your image ready, just click OK.